Now here we've got a problem uh, which you'll encounter quite often. Leaking transmission from the bell housing. Quite often people will just get there and replace the seal without testing the torque converter. This particular one is out of a Holden VE Commodore or Mega 6L45E transmission. But the same principles apply to any torque converter. Okay, now just quickly I'm going to pressure test the torque converter, just make sure it's not leaking there uh, on the welds anywhere. And what usually happens on these particularly, they have a common fault because uh, the converter can't move in and out very much from the flex plate or drive plate to where it bottoms out on the pump. They machine that weld there on the converter neck. Sometimes over time, this one's done about 200,000 Ks, sometimes they'll develop a little crack there. So we'll just test for that before we put it back in. So these converters operate, I believe, between 40 and 60 PSI, or 40 and 80 PSI, depending on the application. Sometimes you might have to put more pressure in them to get them to leak. So what I'm going to do, uh, we've got our scale here, I'll, I'll pump it up to about 40 PSI, and we'll see what happens. Well, that's nearly 60 PSI. Just make sure I've got this one in our in the chuck in the lathe, and I've got the tail stock just holding the pressure gauge in. Make sure the brake's on. And I can't really see it. See the pressure running away there. We've just got some soapy water. Nothing really showing up at 60 PSI. I'll just crank it up a little bit. I'll put it up to about 80 PSI. Still can't see any leak anywhere. Crank it right up. There we go. At 120 psi, you can see there's an air bubble forming there. Let's see that? Just here. So quite often people will test these at 40 psi pressure or even 80 psi pressure but you saw that this one only started leaking when it when we were up to about 120 psi pressure. The converter's cold as well so as that metal warms up or cools down that'll affect the, the leakage rate on that. So this converter needs to be sent away to either be re-welded, rebalanced, machined, uh, or probably because it's done 200,000 kilometres, cheaper option, better option would be to just get a reconditioned one. You can see there's another, another air bubble there too now showing up. all over the place.